Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya 2023. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to be talking about everybody's absolute favorite topic. We're going to be talking about UV mapping. Now, uh, I know it has uh, the reputation of being uh, boring and complicated and all that kind of stuff, but I can tell you that in Maya 2023, it is not that bad at all. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I um, UV this chair, uh, made the simple uh, prop chair, and uh, yeah, hopefully you will explain the process much better and it won't be as daunting anymore, right? Alrighty, so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag select the whole thing, and I'm just gonna go up to UV, UV editor, and let's see if we got a UV, and we do, and it's a whole bunch of rubbish, right? So we're gonna go up here to edit and delete, get rid of it, right? And by doing so, we're not getting rid of the chair, we're getting rid of the UV. Let me uh, move this over here. Let's get us some space so we can work. Uh, get in here, yeah, okay, good, good. All right, and we have our UV toolkit on the side here, so we're ready to go, right? Now, first what we need to do is we need to create some kind of UV that has roughly some kind of link towards the chair, right? So we're going to go up to, uh, we're going to go up here, we're going to go to UV, and let's do a camera-based projection. Let's click on that. Now you get all of this stuff, and if you right-click and go to UV Shell, you'll see that we have a whole bunch of camera-based projections of all the individual elements of the chair. Don't worry about it. Now, let's get started with our UV process. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to right-click in object mode, and I got every part separated, right? I'm gonna take that uh, cushion in the back. And what I'm gonna do first is hit Control-1 to isolate it. So it's the only thing we need to worry about, right? Now, what is UV mapping? UV mapping is basically taking a piece of paper and wrapping it around a 3D object. So if I had to uh, create kind of a, a base layer to put that paper on, it would have to be something with the shape of this thing, but can also be folded flat, right? That's kind of the idea. So I'm gonna start cutting. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to edge, and then I'm gonna to start to select these outer edges because that's where I want to cut, right? So we're gonna select those. And now that I have all of these selected on this back, pillow, if you will, or back seat or whatever it's called. And if I hit four, you can see that it's all selected, right? I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go into, uh, which one is that? Let's see. Let's close these for a minute so we can see what's what. All right, down here. Under cut and sew, we click on cut. All right. Now, what does that do? If I right click, go to UV shell over here, and now suddenly you have two pieces. I have a back and I have that. Now, we're gonna straighten these out later, but for now, I wanna worry about this guy. How do I get that thing flat as well? Well, it's basically the same process. We're gonna go in here once again. Let's go to object mode. And I'm gonna go and hit five so you can see what I'm doing. I want to cut open these corners. So this one, and then that one, and then down here, that one, and that one. And again, we're gonna to go to cut, we're going to go to UV shell. And if I now were to go in here and I would unfold this like so, you'll see that it does exactly that, right? And that is exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's see, this guy, we'll click on the fold as well. And let's straighten that out. And as in this view, you can just take one of these shells and right, uh, hit uh, R, for example, or E, right? E to rotate, and we can do the same here. You can kind of straighten that out. There's also an automatic process, but we'll do that later, right? Now, um, the other pillow is, of course, exactly the same. So what I'll do is I'll do one of the chair legs, and then you kind of have an idea of the system and how it works. And then from there, I will uh, put it in time lapse, and then we'll look at the end result, right? So we're going to hit Control-1 to get our chair back. And let's have a look at, uh, I don't know, this guy right here. Okay, now nothing complicated and it has everything we need. Okay, we've got a projection going on here. Let's move that up. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna go to object mode, 
hit control one to isolate it. Then we're gonna go in here as before and I'm gonna right click go to edge and I'm going to double click on the outer edge here. And I'm gonna do the same at the other end. And we're gonna go over to cut. That's now been cut. Then we take one of the seams at this end and let's do that one, all right? And then we're gonna hit cut again. So now if you go in here, right click the UV shell and we take this and hit W to move, you'll see that we got the ends and we got this guy. And if I select this and I click on unfold, it will do exactly that. And we can do that here as well and here as well. So that's how that works. So uh, I'm just gonna um, unwrap all the rest of that stuff and then I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, well, UV is done. Um, as you can see, it all fitted nicely in one zero to one UV space, which is one of these squares right here. And uh, basically it is not that complicated. It's just a repetition of steps. You find the logical edges you wanna cut. Once they are cut, you click on unfold to flatten them out, and then you can click on straighten if you need to. And once you have that all done, you uh, scroll down and you click on layout and it will find a logical way to space all of that out. Now, what's the purpose of that UV anyway? Well, like I said before, you wanna take a 2D texture and you wanna wrap it around these elements. What you don't want is for these UVs to be stretched or out of scale, because if one is much bigger than the other, it would look off, right? Now, luckily we have this little uh, square up here, the checker map. If you click on that, it will be projected on our chair. And you can see that the squares that are projected are evenly spaced. There's no real warping going on. And you can see that they're all nice and square. That's kind of the idea of what you want, right? And then if you wanna kind of have a better look at your UV to make sure that everything is clearly visible, you can click on this guy and turn off that guy. And then you have a better overview, right? Well, that's it, guys. That's my UV process. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you have any video requests, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.